Hey folks, welcome back to the Buffet. Today on I Have an Itch.io, I love that name by the way, <laughs> we're checking out Circadian Dice. This is going to be another Itch.io amazingness that wrote light, as you see bottom, but it goes from 10 to 30, one player game. They've actually put all that stuff in here. I'm hoping that it's not too loud. I'm going to turn down, they put the music volume down at the bottom already, so I like that already. Yeah, go back here, go back here, go back here, go back here. Wait, how do I, how do I edit that? Wait. Hello, game. <laughs> Did I do something wrong? Is that me that's doing that wrong? Am, am, am I doing this wrong? Oh, it can't be in full screen mode. Oh, okay. I have to hit full screen mode for it to be. Okay. I, I just pressed the little arrow in the top right corner, the little box in the top right corner, and that's what it was. I thought that was good, and then it wasn't good because I couldn't click anything, so... All right, so profile one active. This is my first time diving into it. Not sure how the game's gonna go. I'm not, I've never actually played this game before, but it looked really cool in Itch.io, so I figured why not let's check it out. All right, so we did tutorial and we got Bandit Raid. Let's go tutorial. There's a lot of things here. Look at this. There's a lot of things here. Hard mode is locked. Beat the final scenario to able hard mode. A lot of pages. I guess some of these are all adventures. And my current collect my current selected class is cleric. Can I change from a cleric? Oh yeah, look at this. So you have all these classes that you can choose from. I like that. You can't change your class in the tutorial, but you can unlock your classes as you go along. So it looks like I'm gonna have to unlock some classes and get going. So let's go and check out the tutorial, see how this game's played. Book with Kitty and Dice. This is all about dice. Your dice are used to gain uh, to gain resources and defeat enemies. You start each scenario with two six-sided dice. This is where you have rolled for your first time. Oh, I rolled a heart, which is it gained one health for each heart symbol in this face. And then this, increase your shield by one this turn for each shield symbol in this face. Non-piercing damage dealt to you is reduced by your shield. Okay. Independent blow shows all the faces of each die. Oh, so this is everything down here. Okay. I like that. That's, a, that's really cool, actually. Very, very cool. So... I can get some attacks, I can get a gold symbol, a blue gem, gain one blue gem for each blue gem symbol in this face. What are blue gems are for? What are those? I'll probably figure that out. Oh look, no, I think there's a special attack, so I believe the blue gems highlight special attacks. So you need two white gems for the holy light, you need one blue gem for a shield bash, I think. Okay, so check it out. Enemies appear in waves. This sort of scenario have six waves of enemies. In the first wave, one has a single scarecrow. Let's practice using your dice to defeat them. The current roll is very useful. The reroll button shows how many rerolls you have left this turn. Look at it to reroll. Okay. So I've been attacking the coin now. Much better. With this roll, you can attack for one damage and gain one gold. Keep, click the keep button on a roll die face to keep this. Okay. Now click and drag the sword face you roll to the scarecrow to attack it. Oh. Okay. What's the shop? Great. The scarecrow still has one more health, but you can't do more now click on the next button in your turn okay now try to defeat the scarecrow this turn okay let's re-roll we need it we need an attack so we got ourselves a blue gem and now we can attack there we go when all enemies are defeated when you run out of turns the wave ends press the next turn to get a reward for a face the next wave oh wow gain one streak and score 70 points six split turns left plus one streak times 10. We're doing so well, so let's choose the score reward. The faster you defeat a wave, the more points you get. Choose score reward several times in a row to get a streak bonus. Yay! Let's do it. You can upgrade your dice at almost any time. Each upgrade changes two faces on a die. Try buying an upgrade from the shop. Okay. Uh, you have enough gold to buy any one of them, so choose freely. You can mice over the die to get more information. What's this one do? Piercing attack. Deal one damn piercing damage for each arrow symbol in this day. Piercing damage is not reduced by shields or barrier. Ooh. Hmm. I like the sword and shield too. Key unlocks chest and doors. Shield increases your shield by one and then two hearts. Oh, I like them all. Um, let's replace this. Oh, you can only go down. Oh, good choice. You can rotate the upgrade with space. The middle mouse button or by left clicking anywhere except on the die. Try installing it on the die in the mark spot. Oh, okay. I'm gonna install it here, but I'd be get rid of the heart. Why would I install it here? Get rid of the sword and replace the gold. Okay, well, whatever. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know. Gold. Great. For each gold spent on upgrades, you get one experience point. You also get experience for defeating enemies. Real enemies, not these dummies. When you get enough experience, you gain level and get a new ability. New die or more health. When you buy an upgrade, a new upgrade is added to the shop. At the end of each turn, the upgrade at the bottom is removed from the shop and a new one is added at the top. 
Let's try using an ability. You need gems to use ability. Shield Bash costs one blue gem to use and allows you to hit enemies with your shields. Click on it. Try it. Okay. Now use your shield to attack. Oh. I have. Oh, okay. Each ability has a limited amount of charges. Each time you use it and you spend one charge, when you run out of charges, you lose the ability. Now defeat the main scarecrow however you like. Okay. Next turn. Get a gold. Shield. Oh, wait. I, I should have rolled to defeat it because I'm, I'm going to run out of turns, aren't I? How, many, how do I know how many turns I have? Five turns left, right there. Okay. Next turn. Gain blade, gain gold, or let's get the streak. Seven turns left. Whoops. Maybe we shouldn't have wrecked those scarecrows. These birds look like bad news. Each crow will attack two or two damage within the turn, but each shield you, you keep reduces damage for every attack during the turn by one. For every attack. Keep an eye on health. If it ever reaches zero, you die. Oh, okay. So if I put a shield, or grab a shield, right? So it's going to reduce the damage done. Um, this automatically kills one scarecrow. Level up. Strategic retreat. Increase your shield by one, they gain one gold and two health for each shield you have. Use only after keeping dice. Aspect of healing. Add two heart symbols to target non-trapped die face. Oh! I like the strategic retreat. I feel like that's a really good one. Okay, so now you hit me. Uh, I can defeat him now. There we go. Boom. I have one gold. I can upgrade the face. I can actually do this. Let's do this. I want to install it here because then it adds value to that because now I get a key too. Uh, let's get some XP as a reward this time. At level three, you get the third dice, so you get there quickly as usual. Okay, let's do it. Oh, I got a third die now. Nice. Looks like you get activated level five here. Level up, you can die. Click on ready to continue. All right. Kill her coin. Or kill. Oh. Oh, wait, was drops the chest when defeated? Defeated, use a key to harm. Oh. Okay. For one gold, I can upgrade that too. What's this thing? Trap. Try to capture an enemy in this die. On to for capture, this trap face becomes blank. If failed capture, increases capture chance for future attempts in this way. You can capture people? Ow. He did what? Four damage to me? Ow. I might want to consider grabbing some health. Oh no. Ah, there we go. Okay, this is great. So this unlocks the chest. This kills that bird and this kills that bird. So let's unlock a chest. Give me about four gold. Oh wow. Two, two, one, one gem. Two shield and a coin, a gem and a key. That would go really well right here. If I did that, let's do that. That just goes really well right there. All right, so hit. I kind of would open this chest because it gave me so much gold. I can upgrade my, my things real fast. Increase shield by one. And then gain one gold and two health for each shield you have. Okay, yeah, let's do that. And then that at least helps there. And I want to defeat this chest, so I'm going to do that. See, now I defeat this chest. So I get that. So I get seven gold. Um, seven gold I get. Oh my gosh. <laughs> Whoa. Um, so let's upgrade the coin slots here. And then let's defeat the bird. There we go. Plus one streak. Four hearts. Gain four hearts. Is that refill them or that is gain permanently? I wonder. Let's test that. No, I think it's refill. Two turns left. A bunch of crows are really fast. You only have two turns to defeat them. Oh, if there are enemies left and the turns away run, run out, they disappear, but each add fear equal to the attack. When your fear reaches 10, you lose. Oh, that's not good. You can use this trap to try and capture an enemy and it's die. The chance of success capture is reduced by 10% for each health the enemy has. If the capture fails, the trap gets a bonus to future attack. Try using the traps to capture an enemy. Okay. A trap can only be used to capture one enemy. Once the trap has been sent to the case, its face begins blank. Blank base is useless, so there are good spots to install upgrades. Capture enemy attack two. Capture ability gain one gold when you deal two deals damage with an attack on this die. Oh, so you're cap. Oh, that's interesting. 
Each enemy you capture has a special ability that either happens once you capture it or gives you a bonus for as long as the enemy reigns captured. Mouse over capture I see its ability. How long do I know how long it's going to remain captured? Do I release it when I'm done capture? Okay. Um, let's hit that. Now we'll go next turn. Last turn. So I have to beat this guy. The Fang lets you capture an enemy attack. Oh. The crow you capture does die. Has two attacks. So the Fang would do two damage. If you, if you have no capture, then the Fang would still deal one damage. Okay. So let's beat that guy. Let's beat him. Level up. Max health decreased by three. Click the name to continue. Nice. Um, let's get in one streak. Let's get points. This is Sora boss. He's pretty tough. Bosses must be defeated before the turns run out. Otherwise, you lose. Harvest Lord. The boss's shield reduces the damage of your non-piercing attacks by one. Try using arrows, strong hits, or a trap to defeat him. Also, his attacks are piercing. Your shields won't protect you. Try your best to defeat the boss. If you fail, you can try the Sora again and move on to the real Avengers. Remember that your Holy Light ability can save you if your health runs low. Do I even have enough for Holy Light? I do. Okay, cool. Shield symbols and dice also count as two attack symbols this turn. Okay. Um, I think I re-roll here. Okay, so he's going to attack here. His health is, what, three? Is that piercing damage? He's going to hit me for two. He blocked one damage. That's fine. I'll do that. Um, I would not mind putting this somewhere. I wish I could move this die over here. Uh, I'm going to save my gold. Let's save my gold. Let's save my gold. So this kills him. And this kills him. And I got a treasure chest. So, next turn. Treasure chest open. Very nice. Love it. Hit him. And then I can upgrade these. Let's go upgrade these. Okay. Let's upgrade these. Um, oops. Can I rotate them? There we go. Boom. That's fantastic. I love that. Oh, we kill him. Game one streak. You complete the tutorial. Time to face the real challenges. Yay! Defeat enemy score. 32 points. Open chest. 65 points. End of weight bonuses, 230. Thirty gold bonus, one times 10 equals 10 points. Total score, third new class high score, new scenario high score. New scenario unlocked, vampire nest. New uh, relic unlocked, bottomless pouch. Okay, parlets. Okay, so this is this is done. I defeat these guys. Oh, they reveal what enemies are there too. That's super cool. I actually like the Harvest Lord. I'd like to use this as an icon. Is that weird? I got five out of 50, uh, 565 stars so i need five more stars oh so you collect stars as you go along as you defeat things and do things okay oh god look at this question mark to unlock i guess there's a hidden one but let's try the bandit uh the bandit raid because this is quite interesting choose a relic gain one gold at the end of each wave increase your starting maximum hp by four heart symbols in your diet restore two health instead of one. Oh, both are really quite good i can unlock another relic you must equip one relic in this scenario Oh, do I get multiple for... Oh, okay, so the scenario... The scenario gives you more. So if I go down to like these, I bet you I get more relics. I uh, gain one gold at the end of each wave. I think I'm going to go with the heart. The heart. I like the heart. Oops, no clear relics. Uh, suggest, what's suggested relics? Yeah. I'm going to go with the heart. Cleric is master of protection and healing. His zeal convince enemies to join his cause. All these things to unlock i love them i love things to unlock i like like i'm a mountain hunter so whenever i play like mmos i'm always going for uh mounts and everything all right goblin soldiers one 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 i'm looking for a shield and a sword most likely or two swords i'll take one damage if i have to here's a fang unrollable this dice face can't be rolled 
Oh, so you eliminate like one of the faces, so you get the other oh, five. Okay. Oh, that's a nice little combo there. Ooh, there's a trap and attack multiply. Increase the attack multiply one this turn for each. For each multiply symbol in his face. Damage you deal with non fading. Oh, okay. I do want to take this though. This is excellent. Um, I might replace. I might go here. Just because it's just a good combo there. He's going to hit me for one. That's fine. I'll take the blue gem and I'll defeat him. There's two traps upgrade now. Look at that. Oh, the dice face keep dropping off. Oh, no. Um, if I gain two experience, I... Hmm. I get another level, so I level up. Remove all debuffs from two random debuff faces. Gain two health. Lose two fear. Add two heart symbols to targets. Non-trap face. Non-die face. Meditate. Let's go. Piercing attack. Uh oh. Let's reroll. Let's try and get a better one. Uh, that's not bad. Let's let's do that. He's still gonna hit me for one. Let's do it. Uh, I. Okay, so I win this one, but it's piercing attack, so it doesn't matter there. Let's reroll that. Let's reroll one time, see if we can't get. There we go. That's what we wanted right there. Boom. That's what we wanted right there. Restock for free. There we go. Oh, look at all that. Oh my gosh. Six health. Oh my gosh. That would have been monster. Mind guide. Capture target non boss enemy in a random empty die. If there are no empty dice, a random capture is replaced. Oh. Well, let's see here. My level three, I get this one. Let's go one streak. Oh, Troll Brute. Drops a chest when defeated. Promotes a chance to add three temporary attacks to the rolled face when keeping this die. Oh, wow. This is going to be a tough one here. This is going to be a tough one. Um, He's going to have a three. I need to do something against him. Okay. Uh, that's unfortunate, but it is what it is. Three. So I want to take two damage. I'm going to take two damage because of the, the shield. I need at least one shield. I like that shield. I like that. That's a cool concept. Uh, this is nice, but... Hmm. I want to reroll. I don't need the two symbol there. This is nice. I like this. I'll take this, even though I don't need it. Do you even have a key? No, I have nothing for key. I need gold. I need to roll gold. I need to roll some gold. I have not rolled gold. That's just for one. There we go. So I'll hit that. Oh no, I didn't mean to do that. I pressed the wrong thing. Last turn, so I have to defeat him here. Um, let's take a chance here. He's going to instill one fear in me. I could probably take one fear. For a chest. I could take one fear, I think. Yeah, I'm fine with one fear. Only reason being is I really wanted the gold. I really want gold here. I'm not getting gold like I did in the beginning. So the archer is probably going to be my first bet here. Yeah, the archer is probably going to be my first bet. Um, Turn pets into attack itself. Just because the piercing attack is the big deal. Um, Kind of a waste. Again, I'm not rolling any gold. You notice that? Okay, well, as I roll a gold. Uh... I'm gonna test something here. Let's test this theory, ready? 
I replace that right now. Oh, no, it doesn't work like that. Dang. I was gonna be like, if I replace that right now, does that work like this? But it doesn't. I was hoping he would attack himself. I got lucky there. Gonna die. Nice. Oh my god. Did you ask for a better scenario? Boom. Yeah, you could because I'm not getting any gold. Gold, please. Gold. Gold. I need gold. Remember Goldfinger from Austin Powers? I remember that, man. I, I miss I miss the Austin Powers, but I heard some really nasty things about the set. When you show blocks damage this turn, gain that much health and increase your max health by one. Oh. Yeah, I heard Austin, I heard the actual what the name um Michael Myers was like a, apparently a pain to work with. Okay, so if I eliminate him, it's going to be four damage to my face. Um, I'm okay with that right now. Just semi cleric. That's going to be three damage to my face there. Let's try this. Because I need the gold. I really need to start upgrading my stuff. My stuff is horrible right now. Increase your max health by two, gain seven health. Okay. Let's do it. Boom. Oh, he attacked himself. There we go. So that worked out really well. Um, I almost want to farm gold here, but I'm not going to. I'm just going to eliminate him. Oh. No, I, oh, I thought I got to sit there and, and try to unlock the the chest. That'd be so cool. Gain 10 experience. That'd be at 21. It put me so close to, what, level 4? I'm going to go with the money so I get stars. I need stars. I think that unlocks a brand new... Oh, this is the boss. I think that unlocks a brand new character, honestly. This is one hell of a wave. Holy crap. Other enemies have plus 1 attack. Shield 1. Oh, that's why everyone's at two. Okay. Um, this might be really good because of that. Only because of that. Hmm. I like the absorb force. I would take this and I would eliminate the goblin and then I would attach my absorb force down. And I would probably do Holy Light too. Or at least I get to cast Holy Light next round. So let's, yeah, let's do that. Let's do this. Hit him. And then go Absorb Force. And now I absorb, right? That's awesome that you absorb damage like that. Um, then I'm down by seven, so I can actually do this and fill, refill. And actually, my max HP is going up like crazy. Um, piercing damage is nice because it goes against the enemy. But it's piercing, isn't it? Wouldn't that be piercing? Weird. Okay, so I want to get rid of this bad boy now. Hmm. I captured him. Yay! Uh, attacks of this die are piercing. Nice! Ow. Ow. Oh, I didn't mean to click. Oh, I clicked it. money shot. That oh, was a bleed effect. There we go. There we go. Oh, life steal. Okay. Hmm. That might be really good with one of these dice here. 
I think this one might be the best because the blue die, I really don't need the blue die, right? Here we go here, right there. Boom. And I leveled up. Help max increase and we're to increase. Nice. Level four. I got three turns left. We got two turns left. Oh, I got my life still right away. And I got the attack with the piercing too. Look at that. But he has a shield, so it's not really I can I really can't do much with that situation. Uh, the music's actually really freaking good. Um, as you can hear me. So this would be a perfect upgrade for here, right there. Let's boom. Last turn. Okay, so I gotta beat him here, right? Attacks on this die are piercing. Right? So if I use this, this should kill. There we go. Boom. Like, that should definitely kill. 100%. Ooh, I didn't get much though. <laughs> My score last time was really good. New class unlocked. Ninja. Nice. Ninja. Die faces would not have chains. Roll chains on two or more dice for combo reward. Oh. So wait, you unlock you unlock die powers too. Die power unlocked stunning attack. Die faces can now have stunning attacks. Stun monsters skip one attack. Ninja ability unlock. All classes now learn all classes can now learn ninja abilities. New relic unlocked. Wisdom tome. It's home, right? All abilities have 50% more charges. Oh, rounded up too. The Beast Rider. Okay, that was named. So Vampire Nest would be next. This is a ton of fun. Uh, you get two relics next time. I, I do like the Cleric though. The Ninja has zero stars. Does that mean you've earned that many stars on that character? Is that what that is? So like now I... I wonder if that counts towards my total stars here. I want to go for another run, but I don't want the video to be too long. So I'm going to end the video here. What we'll do is we'll go and run another video for another run. And we'll just get more runs going because this is a ton of fun. So definitely check this out. Oh my god, my, uh, I, am, I am yawning because it is now it's 6 a.m. in the morning. So uh, this is, the video is recording at 6 a.m. in the morning. So <laughs> it is uh, a little early for me. Um, I got to get ready to go to work. So, guys, thank you so much for coming in and hanging out with us. I hope you appreciate Circadian Dice on Itch.io. Circadian Dice. Uh, I'll be leaving a link down below so you guys can quickly hop in and, and check it out. Other than that, folks, I will see you folks in the next video. If you guys want to be interested, also remember that we have, we'll have the links down for the social media, the live stream. I will be playing this live tonight on the stream. Um, so, if you guys get a chance to stop by and hang out, definitely come out. The links will down below. And we're starting the Discord as well. The Discord is going to be for a bunch of indie lovers. So, if you're an indie lover, it'd be great to come by, have another Discord. I know it's another Discord, I understand. But I'd like to start up the community to get the community going and to get a bunch of people together for, you know, like everyone that likes the, the, the indie games. But also, I would love to start asking these developers if we can start working with them to be able to get maybe, you know, some indie lovers, a couple keys or. You know what I mean? Just just a whole bunch of things like that. So definitely check it out, guys. I will take you uh, check you out the next one. Thank you so much. Also check out because this is the itchio. This is I have an itchio. Um, the, the the video. There's going to be another game posted as well today as well. So it's going to be two days. On Wednesdays it's two videos. So definitely check it out. Okay. Thank you so much, guys. Have a great day. Peace. Yes. As you see, it's still raining the next day. I should have put that on this so it grows up quicker. But I'm assuming, like I said, I'm assuming that everything happens when your planimal gets grown up. Like when you actually have that. So I'm going to clear a little more land. I'm going to work on this land and get this stuff done real fast. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to pop back on the video. The moment that we actually have a planimal open up, I'm going to pop back on the video. So you can see that aspect of it because I feel like that's a big part of the game. And I don't want to I don't want to post this review without having that part of the actual video. So I'm going to pop, pop off and pop back right back on right when I get the planimal. So this is what I just popped in my next day and it says my first plan animal. So I'm assuming that I'm getting my first plan animal now. So we get to the sky. Oh, there's a slime behind. Uh, sir, sir, sir. There's a slime. Help me, Helios. Sir, there's a slime right behind you, sir. Phew, that was close. The slimes that never come out the dungeon before. Something must have happened to agitate them. They're normally pretty peaceful. 
Meet me north of town tonight by this dungeon. We need to investigate this. You'll bring you better bring a plan animal with your protection. Here, you can take this Mutaku. I made it by using a red slime and a Mutatsu plant. Different types of slime will mutate your crafts in different ways, but a red slime will always make some kind of plan animal. Take this sword and beat any slimes you come across. This should come keep you safe. Alright, let's so run in the lab and meet me outside the dungeon entrance tonight. Cool. So we got our first little muta Mutato, is how you I think they say. We're gonna sell these things real fast too. Oh, the price is in the top right, or top left corner. I see that. I like that. We're gonna pop down our sh our um, chest real fast and fill it up with our materials. Well, I guess I can't build there, but I can build here. And I can build here. And I can build over here. But I can't build on that part. So let's build there. And let's gonna pop these up here. There's probably an easier way to do this. There we go. If you left. Okay, I like that. You hold shift and you click. It works really well. Let's check out this dude. Matato or Matanko. Level one. Oh, looks like they gain levels too. Mat the Matanko is the balance plan with a variety of attacks. I wonder if you could check out their uh, attacks and see what that's all about. We're going to use the basic fences to control their livestock. So maybe when I get some livestock, I have to trap them in. That one's growing right there. These guys are almost done. It's been three days of rain. So let's go up north. He said, what, tonight? So I'm going to go ahead and do that flash forward thing again. So you guys want to see me continue to clear my land? I'm going to go ahead and go fast, fast forward again to the nighttime so you all get that and see what that's all about. So we just got to nighttime. We're heading right up to the top here to see what the professor all wanted here. Oh, and here we go. Oh, what's that guy? What in the world? Are you getting chased? Maybe they're stealing the slimes? Is that why they open up the, the dungeon? I don't know. Professor, what's going on? Did you see that? That was Wrigley, the manager of Slime Co. Pumping. They started up here in town just a few days ago when we got here. They've been pumping slime in town to power some of the buildings. I hear they want to profit off what I've discovered here, but I think that it could be dangerous to remove slime from the dungeon. I wonder what they could be up to inside the dungeon. I've noticed there are wild slimes all over the place now. This has never happened before. I think whatever Slime Co. was doing there might have something to do with it. Would you go inside the dungeon and find out what they're up to? From my research, I found the dungeon is far too dangerous during the day. You should only investigate at nighttime. Make sure to always bring plant animals with you to protect yourself. The dungeon is full of wild plant animals and other strange creatures as well. Report back to me once you've found anything. We have to make sure Slime Co. isn't up to no good. Yeah. Yeah, let's go for... Oh, that's a big dude. Holy moly. Ah, that's a big dude. All right. Hi-ho. Hi-ho. And to the dungeon we go. Everything's overgrown. You notice that? Let's go left. Oh, what's this? You discovered iron. You can use a craft intermediate items and it's only found in dungeons. All right. Uh, I don't like that my sword is so far away. I want to pop my sword where my, where my hoe should be. Okay. You found a green crystal. Mysterious crystal like this can be used to craft slime and even super slime. What? A red crystal. Mysterious crystal like this can be used to craft slime and even super slime. So wait, you can craft the slimes? Let's grab some of these things here. What's this, copper? Yeah, it's copper. My inventory is too full to pick this up. Well, I can solve that right now. You discovered gold. You craft advanced items when you found in dungeons. Oh, wow. Gold. So they, they skipped copper and just went to gold? I wonder how much uh, stuff is going to take to be able to do that. You reach level three. You learn how to make a wood path. Okay. Oh, there's a planimal, I'm guessing, right? Probably a planimal. Gonna mine all this iron in here. There's some green slimes in here, too. I feel like getting all this, this stuff is gonna be important. Oh, here comes the first guy. Oh, wait. Oh, wait, I did not expect this. Oh, it's legitimately like a, like a, like what they have like in Pokemon battles. This is, this is really cool. I did not expect that. 
Uh, slam your foe with fury. Deals minor damage. Frighten your foe. Decreases enemies' damage for the next three turns. Higher chance to miss. This plan will needs to be level three to unlock this ability. Oh no. Okay, so the only thing I can really do is slam. So let's slam him. Six damage to you. Ooh, deals six damage to me. Deals six damage to you. Six damage to me. Six damage to you. Six damage to me. So just like you would expect from the Pokemon battle. Oh no. Did he mess up or something? What happened? He hurt himself or something. You won the battle. Oh, that's a lot of experience right away. All right. But that's that's a, a welcome addition there. I, I did not expect that. I did not think that that was how the uh, battles were going to go. I thought it was going to be like a little bit of real time and I was going to have to blast them or something. I'm not sure. But uh, that's that's quite cool. To be honest, I actually prefer the battles to be like that. All right, let's really walk back over here. Got a lot of materials. I guess I had to go right to start off with. What are in the fountains? Why the fountains? Should I be... Should I be destroying the fountains? Or I'm, I'm not sure. Yo, out of stamina, go to bed. I mean, that's a understatement. The eye is rolling after me. I see you. Oh, sorry, it, it had to be said. I'm sorry, it had to be said. Okay, it looks like it's just a whole bunch of things, but I feel like I need to do myself a favor. And go back home and come back and explore this at another time because I am not ready for this right now. Especially with only uh one planimal. I mean I think I think that's probably not a good idea. But guys, it's gonna be Monster Harvest. I hope you get a chance to check it out again. The links are gonna be down below, especially for this game and also also for the whole social media. Again, grow in the Discord. Please go and join that Discord. We'd love so we'd love to have you. We can start talking about all the indies and everything else you want to talk about. So, again, thank you so much for coming in, checking out the video. Give it a like or a comment. Love, love to hear what you think about this game. Otherwise, I will see you all in the next one. Thanks for coming in. Bye.